Even though the temperatures vary around the body, the core temperature stays within tight range through thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is the ability of an organism to keep its body temperature within certain boundaries, even when the surrounding temperature is very different. The process is one aspect of homeostasis, a dynamic state of stability between an animal's internal environment and its external environment. The hypothalamus, located in the brain, not only regulates the body temperature, but controls hunger, thirst, fatigue, and anger. When a rise in body temperature occurs, the hypothalamus directs blood vessels in the skin to expand in diameter or dilate. This increases heat loss by shifting warm blood to the skin. Additionally, your sweat glands release sweat, which cools your skin as it evaporates. This helps to lower your internal temperature. The opposite condition, when the body temperature decreases below normal levels, is known as hypothermia. With a drop in body temperature, the hypothalamus inside the brain directs blood vessels in the skin to narrow in diameter or constrict. This reduces heat loss by shifting warm blood to the interior of the body. Shivering is a reflex trigger triggered to maintain homeostasis. Skeletal muscles begin to shake in small movements creating warmth by expen expending energy. Today you will explore the relationship between internal body temperature and the skin surface temperature of your hand under different conditions. This is thermoregulation. Let's get started. For this investigation, you will need a wireless temperature sensor and a couple containers. The containers need to be large enough for you to submerge your hand and one will contain ice water, while the other will contain warm water. As a side note, standard recording of core temperature is typically done orally. However, since these are not medical grade devices, oral measurements are not appropriate. Uh, we'll measure our core temperatures today underneath our armpit. Okay, so it's time for data collection. So I want to make sure that my temperature sensor is connected to my device. Click sensor data and the digits templates, what we're gonna be using today. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is measure your core temperature. Remember, we're doing that with our armpit today because that's a safe way to do it. I'm gonna put it under my left-hand side to start. Okay, I'm gonna record this. Give it a few seconds to stabilize. Give it a few more seconds. It's good to give it about a full minute. Okay. All right, excellent. So you're gonna record this temperature into table one for the left-hand side of core. Now we wanna do the external skin temperature. And to do that, I'm gonna put the sensor between my forefinger and my thumb and just hold it and click start. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. 33.4, record in table one for the external skin temperature of your left hand or my left hand. All right, let's do our core on the right hand side. Again, it's good to give it about a minute. Almost. 
loose there. Okay, record that temperature for the right hand core in table two. All right, let's do the external temperature of your right hand. So forefinger and thumb. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording data. And then you're going to record this temperature in table two for the external temperature of the right hand. All right, so now I'm going to place my left hand in the cold water for about a minute, and then we're going to test again on the left hand side. All right, so let's get started. making sure my fingers or my palm are completely submerged. If you're doing this in the classroom or at home, if it starts getting uncomfortable, absolutely take your hand out of the water. Got about 20 more seconds. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. Got some paper towels over here to dry my hand. All right, and let's start with the external skin temperature first. Same placement, that forefinger and thumb. Are you starting to stabilize? A few more seconds. All right, so you're gonna record that under table one for the external temperature in cold water. All right, let's go back and do our core under my left-hand side. This will probably take about a minute. Notice that it's rising pretty quickly here. more seconds since I see it's still increasing. All right, you're going to record this for your left hand side core temperature um, in table one for cold water. All right, now we're going to switch gears and I'm going to place my right hand into the warm water for about a minute. Again, if you do this at home, please make sure you're not using hot water. Give 
for about 30 more seconds. take it out, blot my hand dry, same position for your right hand side, start recording data. Looks like it's quickly stabilizing. Okay, I'm going to stop collecting data and you're going to record that number for your right hand external temperature warm water in table two. And the last measurement you're going to do is the right hand side, my right hand side, uh, core temperature. Give it a little bit more time since I see it's still increasing. Looks like we're about to stabilize. Okay, you're going to take that final measurement and put that on right hand side core temperature in table two. Using your data in table one and two, the introduction portion of the video, and your observations, you will now be able to answer the questions found on your student data sheet.